Yo guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. So this time actually I'm talking again. Um, I mean, it's been a quite busy season. Um, we did many vlogs, many weekend videos, let's say, from DTM in German and also WEC in English. Um, so yeah, I hope you all watch them. If not, go check out yeah, my, my channel. Um, it's quite a lot of videos and I think many of them actually went out really, really cool. So yeah, but now we thought about doing a little Q&A session. I asked you guys um, to ask me questions on Instagram again about this season. So we talk about this season a little bit and about the future. Um, and we picked 10 questions and I'm going to start with them now. Um, yeah, so the first question was, did you enjoy DTM and are you seeking to return next year? So for me, of course, DTM was a really big opportunity this year. I mean, in Germany, it's one of the, after F1 actually, it's the biggest racing series. So um, it was a great opportunity, um, thanks to Scheffler. And I obviously really enjoyed it. I mean, I was a spectator when I was small, so um, to race there was, was super cool. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, for next year, we have to see. Um, DTM is definitely an option um, and there's yeah, still talks going on, so I cannot really say more about this until now. <laughs> then, which race weekend was the hardest or stressful? Good luck for 2022. So, I think there has been actually some weekends which were hard this year or yeah, just really like... Yeah, tough. Also because on some weekends I was actually not feeling good, like Solder, for example. Um, I mean, I loved the track. It was really fun to drive, but um, yeah, we struggled the whole weekend and I was actually feeling really bad um, this weekend over. Um, then also in Bahrain, the eight hour race, I had over 40 degrees fever and um, yeah, I was just physically completely done to be honest um so yeah probably those ones were the hardest just because i wasn't on the good level um from my body side so um yeah probably those ones most underrated performance from your season oh i think probably the first bit of the DTM season. So, I mean, many of you guys probably know that I had the space drive system in for the first rounds um, until Red Bull Ring, actually. And um, yeah, I don't know, especially in Germany, there were some people not being happy with my performance. Um, and yeah, let's say not being really nice. Um, and yeah, I think that many didn't really know the reason for it. Um, I mean, it was a new technology and we had to try it and, and yeah, get some data and do laps and, and do races and it was working really good. Um, but the, I mean, every single new technology also has um, ways which you can improve still, let's say. Um, and yeah, it was just a difficult one, especially on this high level, um, like DTM. And I think yeah, all those weekends were a little bit underrated from fans or people watching the races and media a little bit. What was your highlight this season? Well, I mean, obviously, of course, um, Le Mans is always a highlight just because it's 24 hours of Le Mans. But um, from, from performance wise and like how I enjoyed it, it was definitely Norris Ring. Um, I mean, I, in Assen, I scored my first points, but um, in Norris Ring, I really enjoyed the weekend because qualifying was good. I set my goals before the weekend and I achieved them. Um, I finished in the points for a second time and it was just a really cool weekend with many fans. Um, and also, yeah, probably, well, of course, LMS Portimao to end up on the podium um, in the LMP2 was, was, was amazing. It was a really cool feeling to be up there again. Um, and then also probably the qualifying on the eight-hour race in Bahrain um, when I was six in, in my class. Um, yeah, I was just really happy for the team. I mean, for whole Richard Meal racing, they were quite hard. And especially in, in Bahrain, um, we worked a lot and hard in those days. And um, yeah, it was nice to kind of give them something back. And I think we made the best out of this quality um, in Bahrain. Will you come to IMSA? So obviously IMSA is a really interesting Racing series, I mean, in general, America is really interesting for every single racing driver, I think, in Europe. Um, also for me, um, especially because I raced the LMP2 the past two years and the cars there are just different tires and more power, let's say. Um, so, yeah, obviously it's an option. Um, I was actually pushing a lot to do Daytona. Um, we'll see if it's going to work out or not. But, um, yeah, I'm so 
is cool and maybe you'll see me there at some point next year or the year after or I don't know. <laughs> what is worse in your opinion to retire very beginning or very end of a of Le Mans 24 hour race? So I think both ways are just horrible because you always just want to end a 24 hour race especially Le Mans um, but I think it's Probably in the beginning, it's easier to kind of swallow it because, well, like when you race already for 22 hours and then you have like something, it's quite hard because, you know, you go towards the end and you're fighting and, and everyone is working hard. And if you yeah, retire in the end of the race, I think it's, it's probably the worst. Um, so you have something very beginning, but <laughs> I would just choose none of both of them. <laughs> How is your relationship with other drivers? Um, good, to be honest. I mean, um, yeah, most of them, you know, over years, you know, so some of them you actually kind of grow up together in karting. Um, so it's it's quite cool. I mean, on track, no, no one likes each other, but off track, um, you get along quite good. Um, everyone respects each other. It's really cool atmosphere um, in DTM, but also in WEC. So um, you never had any issues there and, and yeah, be really enjoying to be in that sport. What has been your the biggest challenge for you in 2021? Um, well, probably the up and downs a little bit. Um, and also it was a really stressful year and my body was just, I don't know, I was sick quite often and had some yeah physical, yeah, it was just not, not good, um, which was really annoying um, on, on some weekends, to be honest. But um, yeah, just the up and down a little bit and that some people um, outside of this world try to explain how to race a car and um, yeah, just some comments which were just not, not so cool. Um, but yeah, all in all, really enjoyed that year. It was just really stressful but cool year and I think I, I'm, I should never ever complain about it. So I'm not, um, I'm just thankful for the opportunities I got this year with Scheffler and EDM and up and then also of course the Richemil program in WEC which is a world championship. Um, I mean it was two really high series um, which I was racing and it was it was it was super cool. And then um, yeah what's next? So I mean we're here on 29th of November now and I'm tw turning 21 <laughs> in two days so um, yeah first of all just celebrate my birthday and then yeah no more driving or racing this year. Um, and then we'll see for 2022, which is also actually last question. Can you tell us the plans for 2022 season? So um, I cannot say anything yet because nothing is confirmed or signed or anything. I mean, there's many talks, especially in that yeah, season, let's say, um, in December, many talking. Um, but yeah, I mean, my, my plan is to do work again, um, which is probably, yeah, a really hard championship next year um, in, in LMP2 because many really good teams are coming in. The driver lineups is are going to be amazingly good. So I'm pushing for for WEC um, with which team or how I do, I, I don't know yet. Um, and then, I mean, DTM is for sure an option. Um, it was really cool this year, um, especially being on a German platform again, racing in Germany and having German fans around. Um, so we'll see what the options are there um, and then, yeah, see if maybe IMSA or something else works out. But um, I think 2022 can be really cool again. Um, so yeah, cross your fingers, it will be good. And then hope you liked that video. If you have more questions, just write in the comments and then I'll see you next time again.